This is David Hawkins, DHI Enterprises, and you're probably expecting the how do we afford the cameras video, which is done. It's in the bag. I just haven't had a chance to upload it yet. But tonight I wanted to bring you something different. I wasn't prepared to do a video tonight at all. I'm recording the audio straight from the camera and I was on my way to bed. I'm in my pajamas, but this thing recently popped up where a user on uh, one of the forums came up with a hack to disable the 30 minute limit on Sony cameras. And it looks like every camera that has the Play Memories app, you know, ha can have this functionality. So I wanted to just go through step by step and explain to you guys how to do it. Now, the first thing that you have to have is just a regular USB cable. And all you have to do is turn on your camera, you go into the Utilities screen. On the Utilities screen, you want to enable MTP mode for USB. So you go to USB, it's about the fourth menu or something like that, and you enable MTP as your USB transfer protocol. Once you have that enabled, you go ahead and turn off the camera and plug in your USB cable and turn it on again. And then you should see that your camera, after you get past the Sony welcome screen, which you should probably disable, you should see that the camera will be in MTP mode. Once you're there, you go to the link that I've posted on the screen and that I've placed in the description. And you have to do this in Safari if you're on a Mac, and you have to do it in Internet Explorer if you're on a PC. It's not going to work in any other browser. It has to be one of those two. So in either Safari or Internet Explorer, you go to the link that I've provided. And what you see me doing here is just doing a basic diagnostic of the camera, just to check and make sure that the cable's connected and that all the drivers are loaded, depending on which browser you have you might have to install a plug-in in order for it to work correctly once you have that plug-in installed then you should be able to just go ahead and run the diagnostic you'll see some pretty useful information about your camera I would just go ahead and run it anyway and copy that once you're done with the diagnostic then you just go ahead and install the app to your camera now, once you install the app, what you want to do is go to your Applications tab. And on your Applications tab, you'll see that the uh, Open Tweaks app is there. You go ahead and click on that, and you'll see right away the option for changing the video limit. You can change it to five seconds just for a test, or you can change it to unlimited, or you could switch it back to the default uh, if you want. And uh, that's it. And like I said, it'll work with any Sony camera. I have personally tested it and I can tell you that it works fine. You don't have to worry about it doing something bad to your camera or damaging it or anything like that. Because as you can see, you can change the setting right back if that's what you want to do. And uh, well, that's it for this video. Please uh, like and subscribe and also go ahead and subscribe to my Instagram account at The David Show. And feel free to visit my website, www.dhienterprises.com. And that's it. I'm David Hawkins, DHI Enterprises. Have a good night. <music>